Have you ever considered the benefits of short-term fasting on your brain cells? It may sound counterintuitive, but recent research has shown that taking a break from food for short periods can actually have a positive impact on your brain function, from promoting cellular repair to boosting cognitive performance. The benefits of short-term fasting are hard to ignore. Fasting is a term used to describe voluntary abstinence from food and drink. It has been practiced for centuries for religious, spiritual, and health reasons. In recent years, there has been an increasing interest in the health benefits of fasting, particularly its effects on the brain. Short-term fasting refers to periods of fasting that last for less than 24 hours. This can take the form of intermittent fasting, where individuals alternate between periods of eating and fasting, or time-restricted feeding where individuals limit their eating to a specific window of time each day. During a fast, the body undergoes a number of physiological changes. The most notable of these is a decrease in blood glucose levels, which triggers the body to switch from using glucose as its primary source of energy to using stored fat instead. This process, known as ketosis, has been shown to have a number of health benefits, including improved insulin sensitivity, reduced inflammation, and increased fat burning. In addition to these systemic effects, fasting has also been shown to have specific effects on the brain. These include promoting cellular repair, boosting cognitive performance, and reducing the risk of neurological diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. The brain is a complex organ that requires a constant supply of energy to function properly. This energy is derived primarily from glucose, which is transported to the brain via the bloodstream. During a fast, the body's glucose levels drop, and the brain is forced to find alternative sources of energy. One of these sources is ketones, which are produced by the liver when the body is in a state of ketosis. Research has shown that ketones may be a more efficient source of energy for the brain than glucose, particularly in conditions where glucose metabolism is impaired, such as in Alzheimer's disease. In addition, ketones have been shown to have neuroprotective effects, reducing the risk of neuronal damage and promoting cellular repair in the brain. One of the most exciting potential benefits of short-term fasting on brain cells is its ability to promote cellular repair and regeneration. This is achieved through a process known as autophagy, which is the brain's natural process of breaking down and recycling damaged or dysfunctional cells. During a fast, the body's energy is diverted away from digestion and towards cellular repair and regeneration. This triggers a process of autophagy, in which damaged or dysfunctional cells are broken down and recycled, leading to improved cellular health and function. Research has shown that autophagy is particularly important for brain health, as it helps to clear out accumulated protein aggregates and other cellular debris that can contribute to the development of neurological diseases. By promoting autophagy, Short-term fasting may therefore help to reduce the risk of Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and other neurodegenerative diseases. When there is starvation or nutrient deprivation, the process of autophagy is triggered. This gives rise to the formation of double-membrane autophagic vacuoles, also known as autophagosomes, that transport the cargo from the cytoplasm to the lysosome for degradation. Autophagosomes carry the junk cell pieces to a part of the cell called a lysosome. A lysosome's job is to digest or break down other cell parts. In a study done in 2010 on how short-term fasting induces profound neuronal autophagy, six to seven week old male mice were food restricted for 24 or 48 hours, a process known to induce fatty change and autophagy in the liver. It was found that food restriction caused a marked increase in both the number and the size of neuronal autophagosomes in the cell body of cortical neurons. These changes were present after 24 hours of food restriction and were even more dramatic at 48 hours. Sporadic short-term fasting, driven by religious and spiritual beliefs, is common to many cultures and has been practiced for millennia. But scientific analyses of the consequences of caloric restriction are more recent. Published studies indicate that the brain is spared many of the effects of short-term food restriction, perhaps because it is a metabolically privileged site, 
that, relative to other organs, is protected from the acute effects of nutrient deprivation, including autophagy. But the above-mentioned study shows that this is not the case. Short-term food restriction does induce a dramatic upregulation of autophagy in cortical and PERC-NG neurons. The roughly 10 to 14 billion neurons in the cerebral cortex are known to play a vital role in memory, attention, perception, awareness, and consciousness. PERC-NG cells are the sole output neurons of the cerebellar cortex and play pivotal roles in the coordination, control, and learning of movements. So, autophagy induced by short-term fasting has been shown to dramatically benefit both the cerebrum and the cerebellum parts of the brain. In comparison, the benefits of prolonged fasting on brain cells are not as dramatic and also less safe. Cognitive performance and brain function are also improved through a number of mechanisms, including increased neurotrophic factor production, improved synaptic plasticity, and reduced inflammation. Neurotrophic factors are proteins that play a key role in the growth, development, and survival of neurons. Research has shown that short-term fasting can increase the production of these factors, leading to improved cognitive performance and memory function. In addition, short-term fasting has been shown to improve synaptic plasticity, which is the ability of neurons to form new connections and adapt to changing environmental stimuli. This is thought to underlie the brain's ability to learn and remember new information. Finally, short-term fasting has been shown to reduce inflammation, which is a key factor in the development of many chronic diseases, including neurological disorders. By reducing inflammation in the brain, short-term fasting may help to improve overall brain health and function. If you like this video, then please do remember to subscribe to our channel.